the voice of God is to change plans of the enemy. The voice of God is to disrupt the enemy's plans. You see, when I'm able to hear the voice, my step, my my emotions, my behavior comes into control into my spirit. My emotions, my behavior comes in control to my spirit. See, when the voice of God speaks, the spirit gets passion <laughs> and it's and it's overflows with the strength and opportunities God has in it. So I'm leaning on the spirit which has strength and opportunities of God called gifts of the Holy Spirit. When I glean on them, my emotions and my behavior come in alignment. You see, in this stage of time we are living in this world, we are, we are, we, we, we either have a choice to choose the power ministry or, or emotional ministry. Why? To lead, to lead from power ministry is leading from performance. If you're leading from emotional ministry, you're leading from stable mind. <laughs> when you're leading from emotional, emotional ministry, your, your, your shadows get to listen to the voice of God and demonstrate what you can do. You see, your emotions are the most important element to make decisions, directions, and get you to opportunities God has for you. That means it's able to listen and perceive God in it. Friends, it's so important for us in this time. Emotional, emotional ministry is predominantly a very important tool for, for you and I to hear the voice that he's, that he's speaking into. Because voice, voice, somehow filters through an emotion when we are done listening to the voice. Every time I hear a voice, some of my emotions comes to interrupt or interpret, interpret my, my la the language of God and the language of the language of the language of an emotion. If I'm connected to negative emotion, the emotion in it has a language of a disappointment of the past. But the voice has a language of the future for me to have growth into the opportunities God has for me. You see, when you, when you find value in the emotional ministry, you will find value in the spirit that takes me to the opportunities called engaging growth. But I, if I take this emotions of negativity and I take this, take the voice and filter through negative emotions, I'm losing opportunities into isolation. Why would I choose isolation when God has for me to increase, come on, increase God, increase God's opportunity, uh, increase my ability to grow in, in the opportunities of God. You see, this is, my, this is my ability, this is where I see, this is where I see importance in our lives. I challenge you to understand the ministry of emotions, the ministry, emotional ministry than power ministry. Start here, this will get affected. Amen.